Hi, and welcome to TechS. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 2008 web server so you can host your Joomla websites, your WordPress blogs, or pretty much anything you want. Um, this is using the Oracle VM VirtualBox. So you can do this on your own computer. All right, let's get started. Um, you have to create a new virtual machine. Simple enough, click new. Uh, give a name. Now, if your name has got uh, you know, Windows or Mac or something in it, it'll automatically detect the, uh, it'll automatically detect that and take a guess at what your operating system is. Uh, so it is Microsoft Windows, but for this one we want to choose Windows 2008, 64-bit. Uh, Click Next. Now it suggests uh, a minimum of 1,024 meg. Uh, next. A new hard disk, since this is a new machine and it'll go through the new disk wizard. Now, the difference here between dynamically expanding storage and fixed is that if you tell it to create a 20 gig uh, disk with dynamically expanding storage, it'll start off much smaller and it will be, uh, it'll just use up as much disk space as the disk grows. Uh, if you choose fixed storage, it'll start off at 20 gig. So there's 20 gig. Finish. Okay, so before you turn the computer on, you should uh, check the settings. Under system, you'll want to change the boot order. So I like to have the CD-ROM or DVD booting first, then the hard disk. Uh, I'll also, while we're here, add the CD-ROM. So I'll put a CD in the drawer, basically. Uh, Select the disk, click here, and I have a Windows CD ready to go. Click OK, that'll apply the settings, and you can see here under storage that the CD for my Windows Server 2008 is already in and ready to go. OK, well, that's uh, as easy as it is to create a virtual machine with VirtualBox. Um, if you have a look at the next video, I'll show you how to install uh, Windows Server 2008.